So, hello, good day, and uh, welcome to the TechSoup Europe webinar on uh, digital transformation. Uh, we see uh, quite a number of the people, uh, and uh, people are still uh, signing in so far. We have about uh, 40 participants, uh, and uh, the numbers are growing. So, my name is Dennis Shridak, and I am head of uh, the TechSoup Europe Digital Transformation Program. Helping me with technical aspects of the webinar is my colleague Lisa Nema, project coordinator in uh, Tech, TechSoup uh, Poland. We had a little bit uh, over 70 registration uh, to this uh, webinar. Uh, and right now we see uh, about 40 participants. Uh, so I'm very glad to see how great interest is uh, when it comes to digital transformation of uh, nonprofits in uh, Europe. Uh, to start, Technology is affecting every sector, from space travel uh, to helping the poorest of the poorest in uh, war zones. As stated in uh, 2018 Horizon report, uh, complete digital transformation of social sector is the next big thing uh, which is coming to change the organization, which focus on, uh, focuses on uh, work with uh, marginalized groups of our society. Uh, the buzz is not only about social media, but it is uh, crowdfunding, Internet of Things, uh, artificial intelligence, augmented reality, and even drones, uh, which are coming to uh, boost helping uh, those in need. While the dig digital change is already here, European NGOs are lagging behind in digital transformation, and uh, moreover, leadership of European NGOs is non-digital at all. TechSoup's ICT for NGO project research shows massive misunderstanding of the role and trends in digital amongst uh, leadership uh, of uh, NGOs. The webinar will uh, provide us with uh, some introduction to digital transformation of uh, nonprofits. We will try to answer to your questions and explore several, several aspects of uh, digital transformation. By the end of uh, the webinar, we expect you to understand uh, what is digital uh, transformation, uh, recognize the importance of digital transformation with uh, all of its uh, benefits for the achievements of organizational goals and missions, recognize the risk of uh, delaying the process of uh, digital transformation, strengthen the motivation to support digital transformation process in uh, your organizations, and introduce basic action plan for digital transformation of organizations. Uh, let me briefly introduce you with a plan for next one hour. Uh, we have separated this webinar into several modules. Uh, in module one, uh, we are providing introduction to webinar, which is uh, what we are uh, just doing. Module two covers how digital technologies uh, change nonprofits. In module three, we explore leaders' role in digital transformation of nonprofits. In uh, module four, we will discuss digital transformation as a change in the organization. And at the end, we will talk about the uh, possible action plan and the uh, next steps. For this webinar, we are using uh, Zoom as a platform, as you know, and uh, I'm sharing my uh, screen with you, so you will be able to follow the entire presentation. You will be able to post uh, any questions in the question box uh, or uh, chat box, and my colleague Lisa will be monitoring uh, chat box uh, pointing me to any interesting question that should be uh, answered. We will actually try not to answer every uh, individual question, uh, but uh, the group uh, questions uh, based on the topic, uh, so not to lose uh, time uh, on uh, answering the uh, same, same questions uh, for uh, several times. Uh, during the webinar, we will be using some uh, simple polls in order to explore some uh, interesting topics and uh, make this webinar a bit more fun, let's say. After uh, finalization of uh, the webinar, we will be sharing recording of the webinar together with some uh, training materials and uh, handouts. So, uh, as I just uh, mentioned, uh, this uh, webinar uh, will be uh, recorded uh, uh, for the purpose of uh, sharing uh, of webinar uh, through our website uh, and uh, of course through the emails uh, with all of you. 
allow me just uh, to mention that uh, this webinar was prepared with uh, within the project uh, DigiLead, Advancement of Digital Transformation of Social Sector with the uh, use of Open Badges Recognition System under the Erasmus Plus program Key Action 2 uh, Strategic Partnerships by the consortium of uh, partner organizations, uh, Fondacija TechSoup as a project leader and uh, Fondacija Mosaic from Bosnia, Les Atelier de Bocage from uh, France, uh, House des Stiftens from Germany and Social Tech now from Italy as uh, project partners. I would also like to start uh, by asking you to uh, type uh, next to your name, of course, organization and the uh, position in a chat box uh, so we can have an overview of uh, who do we have uh, with us today, a uh, profile of uh, participants which uh, eventually can uh, help us in uh, adjusting this webinar to the needs of the group. As you uh, type uh, your uh, organizations and uh, positions, uh, we will slowly uh, continue. Uh, so why digital transformation? There seems to be a really big buzz about it, uh, word of the month uh, in uh, today's, today's uh, society, I would say. You can hear about it everywhere, uh, but uh, why is it important to us? Uh, why? Is it important to nonprofits? To start, I would like us uh, briefly to take a look at the history of uh, di digital uh, technologies. Uh, can we point uh, to the exact moment uh, when the history of digital uh, technology started? Uh, from today's uh, perspective, it is difficult to see any connection of uh, anything that was happening in the 17th century with the uh, modern digital world. But there is one significant moment. In uh, 1679, uh, Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz developed modern binary number system, which was uh, published much later. However, this uh, binary uh, number system is crucial uh, for the functioning of uh, computers today. Not, not trying to explain how it functions, uh, these are the ones and zeros uh, we often see as a representation of uh, computers' language. In a recent uh, history, uh, things started to happen like uh, on a conveyor belt uh, in uh, Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times. After a rather shy start with introduction of uh, ENIAC, one of the first digital computers, uh, uh, fun fact, uh, it weighed uh, 27 tons. Uh, we had uh, the first commercially available computer, the first uh, five uh, megabyte hard disk, uh, the microprocessor, uh, ARPANET, uh, which is uh, Internet's grandfather, if we uh, can call, him, uh, call it like that. The introduction of the first uh, programming language, BASIC. All these were uh, developed from the 50s uh, to the early 70s of the 20th uh, century. And then things uh, became crazy. Last decade of uh, 20th uh, century and the uh, new millennia continued with seemingly uncontrollable bush of fire of digital uh, revolution. It would be uh, difficult uh, to mention all uh, of the milestones. Let's just uh, say the world has uh, changed irreversibly. So how digital technologies uh, change uh, nonprofits? Uh, the first thing we might think of when talking of uh, digital technologies today would probably be the internet, uh, smartphones and uh, smart wa smartwatches. But uh, the change is much deeper and uh, comprehensive. It now heavily influences every aspect of uh, one's life. It is in our homes, uh, in uh, transportation, uh, in our work, education, uh, medical facilities, uh, it has uh, become the core of business industry, communication, uh, marketing, uh, construction, agriculture, it, it, it is everywhere. How all this changed the world around us? I'm going to skip all examples that talk about everyday life, uh, travel, communication, business, but uh, instead let's look at how did it change non nonprofit. Uh, the third sector is such a wide notion, it is not easy to describe it in a simple sentence. We are talking of hundreds of thousands of organizations across Europe, 
difference in size, uh, difference in scope of the work. There are organizations with just a few employees uh, working on a small uh, geographical area and uh, international organizations uh, with thousands of employees uh, covering the area of uh, several countries, uh, even continents. There are organizations active in urban uh, and rural areas. Uh, there are organizations that uh, focus on sports, uh, art, culture, education, social and uh, economical issues, political, uh, human rights. Uh, you can just name the topic and uh, there will be a nonprofit uh, organization uh, working on it. What all of them have in common is that uh, they have been established to make change and improve uh, the lives of people. They all have missions and goals. Uh, they use uh, funds or profit to achieve goals and uh, their missions uh, through different activities and campaigns. campaigns. Uh, one of the main features of uh, nonprofits is their accountability toward donors, beneficiaries, uh, accountability toward the uh, funders, uh, vol volunteers and as well as to communities. Organizations have a high level of accountability and often uh, limited funds uh, for, for achievement of uh, their goals and uh, missions. So what actually changed? First of all, communication has become instant. Uh, mails are the main channel of communication. Uh, we even have digital signatures that are uh, legally recognized. Uh, the ability to instantly send and receive an enorm enormous amount of data has uh, speeded up uh, every aspect of work. Communication applications are becoming more and more part of uh, every uh, organization. And this is not uh, only related to things like uh, Skype for Business, uh, messenger, messaging uh, apps like uh, Facebook Messenger, Slack, Viber have become a mean of instant and cheap communication uh, for increased number of employees. And when it comes to official, uh, even when it comes to official business-related uh, communication, today you have uh, smartphones and uh, they are not just tools, tools of communication. Thanks to the smartphones, you have uh, your office in your uh, pocket at any moment. Of course, a smartphone without uh, data is not that impressive, uh, but uh, when connected to the cloud, we have a great device in our hands cheap storage uh, and uh, access to data and uh, documents. Practically uh, from any device, uh, from any place in the world, uh, by the entire uh, team within the organization. Updates uh, to the documents in the real time by anyone uh, with credited access uh, without endless uh, correspondence and uh, ping pong of uh, documents. Technology is bringing increased results with lower costs. Uh, as, a, as, a, as a result of uh, increased access uh, to the relevant information or uh, better control of the operations, we can decrease the cost of operating and uh, reach goals more uh, efficiently. Uh, interesting topic uh, can be uh, volunteering. Uh, nonprofits engage a uh, number of volunteers. D Digital Era created opportunity for engagement of new type of uh, volunteers, people uh, who will be working from home, dedicating their time uh, and uh, efforts uh, to uh, nonprofits uh, performing uh, various type. It could be a uh, website design or uh, support, uh, data entry, uh, it could be uh, email marketing or uh, management, uh, fundraising, phone calls and uh, outreach, uh, social media promotion, uh, application development, uh, copywriting, blogging, uh, editing, graphic design. Uh, marketing or uh, branding assistance, uh, staff support. Uh, it is actually a quite uh, extensive list of, uh, of tasks. Uh, cloud solutions are taking uh, reporting and uh, analytics uh, to the very new level uh, for uh, both uh, business and uh, nonprofits. Ability to easily extract and use uh, any data from the report by uh, any member of the team, uh, regardless of the location, is uh, another feature uh, of uh, digital technologies at the uh, service uh, to nonprofits. List of uh, examples how technology influences and uh, improves nonprofit sector is long uh, and extensive. The world in which nonprofits operate changed enormously with the uh, digital era. 
communication, operation, uh, operations, planning, uh, implementation, uh, managing, uh, marketing, fundraising, uh, HR procedures, uh, finance procedures, uh, volunteers management, everything is changing. Uh, feel free, please, uh, to uh, ask any question, as I said, uh, to our chat, chat box or uh, question and, uh, and answer uh, uh, box as I'm uh, continuing uh, through the webinar. Uh, it, is, it is time to mention two categories of uh, people in uh, organizations, uh, digital migrants and uh, digital natives. The, the dictionary would uh, describe digital na native as a person born or brought up during the age of digital technology and uh, by so familiar with computers and the uh, internet from early age, that is a person that grew up with uh, technologies uh, immersed in them from the beginning and not acquiring the knowledge of technology later in life as uh, digital migrants, uh, migrants do. On the contrary, uh, the digital migrants would be a person born before the widespread use of uh, digital technologies or uh, someone born afterward but uh, without having been uh, exposed uh, to it uh, at early stage of uh, life. Uh, so someone who needs to learn about uh, technology uh, afterward. Why mentioning digital uh, natives and uh, digital, mi digital migrants? Uh, there is a significant difference between uh, these two groups. Uh, and we are, we are not only talking about a generational gap between uh, two, essential, essential worldview of uh, these two groups are different, uh, almost uh, opposite. Uh, th this is uh, heavily influencing communication between digital natives and migrants. Uh, digital uh, natives value less uh, institutional structure and open access to people of uh, diverse background, while digital migrants uh, tend to rely on uh, meritocracy. Digital natives uh, will often ask for uh, rethinking in relation to practices and uh, processes, while digital uh, migrants might be uh, reluctant toward it. All the technologies that uh, define digital natives uh, is uh, invented by the digital migrants. They themselves uh, have lack of knowledge uh, and skills uh, required uh, to use it. One of the main features of every uh, nonprofit organization is uh, their connection uh, with the beneficiaries, people they serve. More and more uh, often, uh, beneficiaries of nonprofits are digital uh, natives, especially uh, if nonprofits focus on the work uh, with uh, children and youth. Uh, models and channels of communication and outreach to digital uh, natives are different from the traditional ones. Uh, volunteers in organizations are more likely to be digital uh, natives uh, than uh, migrants. Uh, but uh, let's 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 touch on uh, dig digital migrants uh, for a moment again. When it comes uh, to employees of uh, nonprofits, it's a great chance uh, we are talking of digital migrants, uh, people that could have difficulty to fully comprehend uh, digital technology and how it can influence and uh, improve their impact uh, strategy and uh, modality of work. If you go one step uh, further, we will see that uh, one great uh, obstacle is uh, lack of dig digital leadership because uh, the majority of uh, senior, leaders, senior leaders are digital migrants. Uh, we can see that uh, there is a question on uh, recommendation on uh, related books and useful readings uh, for uh, all of us uh, by uh, Tatiana. Uh, we will be uh, getting uh, to, to uh, this at the very end of uh, the presentation on uh, how we can uh, actually support you in uh, digital transformation. Uh, so, According to the NetHope uh, report, uh, Digital Nonprofit Ability Assessment from 2018, in more than 74% uh, of NGOs, no one from senior management team is responsible to foster the digital transformation of the uh, organization. 70% of uh, leading global NGOs do not have a global strategy. 55 
percent of the senior leadership in global NGOs do not uh, envisage any changes in the future related to uh, technological advancements. More than 80% focus only on social media. Uh, it is affecting uh, efficiency and uh, effectiveness of nonprofits in uh, achieving their goals and missions. As uh, already mentioned, nonprofit organizations uh, have accountability toward donors, uh, beneficiaries, founders, volunteers, as well as to communities. Uh, I would say, due to this accountability, they are obliged to invest uh, to invest time and uh, effort in the process of uh, digital uh, transformation. So uh, let's talk about uh, what is the digital uh, digital uh, transformation. Uh, Sarina, yes, uh, the report we are referring to is a NetHope report, uh, digital uh, nonprofit ability assessment from 2018, in uh, training uh, materials uh, that we will be sharing with you after the webinar. Uh, you will be able to find a link uh, to this uh, report. Uh, so. What is a digital uh, transformation? Uh, the definition of uh, digital transformation uh, developed and used by uh, TechSoup uh, describes it as uh, enha enhancing the impact of your organization through the adoption of uh, digital technologies to create new or modify existing uh, processes, culture, and customer or beneficiaries experience uh, to, ch to meet uh, changing uh, requirements. Uh, but what, what does uh, this actually mean? Digital uh, transformation is about change of organizational culture. It is uh, about uh, strategic thinking on uh, how the digital uh, technologies can and will help us in uh, achieving uh, organizational goals, missions, and uh, vision. Dig digital uh, transformation is uh, firstly a change of attitudes toward the use of technology at all levels of the organization, from uh, frontline workers uh, to senior management. Recognition of uh, how it can improve organizational uh, efficiency and uh, effectiveness for achieving uh, the goals, uh, strategic and uh, structured integration of uh, solutions and uh, products uh, as a part of the impact uh, strategy. It, it is a process of uh, non-profits achieving uh, full impact uh, potential uh, by embracing digital technologies and uh, achieving more with less. In the light of the non-profit sector, it is about uh, using uh, technology for good. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, digital trans transformation is uh, often confused uh, with uh, digitization or uh, digitalization. According to uh, Gartner's uh, IT glossary, uh, dig digitization is the process of changing from analog to digital form. Simple as that. Uh, example could be. Uh, uh, digitizing uh, the uh, book into uh, well digital form or uh, analog uh, recording into uh, digital. When it comes to uh, digitalization, IT Glossary described it uh, as use of digital technologies uh, to change business model and provide new revenue and value producing uh, opportunities it is the process of uh, moving to a digital uh, business. Uh, rather complicated uh, definition. However, there are a number of uh, other definitions. Uh, academia, for example, would not agree with this uh, definition. But if we try to simplify uh, digitalization, we would be describing it as a change of uh, certain processes uh, through the integration of uh, digital uh, technologies. One explanation used uh, for describing uh, digitalization is uh, automatization of the process. Uh, for us, uh, it is important uh, to note uh, that uh, digitalization is not a digital transformation, although often wrongly perceived as uh, such. Digital transformation is a comprehensive uh, change of organizational activities and processes in a way that will ensure full leverage of uh, digital technologies in a strategic way. 
Digital transformation is about a change of uh, organizational culture. It is a strategic, strategic thinking on how digital uh, technologies can and will help us in uh, achieving uh, organizational goals, missions, and uh, vision. vision. Yes, uh, digital transformation will include uh, two or more digitalization processes, but it is far beyond just a simple application of the technology. Uh, what we are transforming are technology, people, and, uh, and the processes. The digital uh, transformation journey includes a few important questions. Uh, one of the question is, uh, what do we transform uh, through this uh, process, as we just uh, mentioned? A common answer would be technology. Uh, Organizations that uh, are uh, yet to enter the digital era, which are still using analog solutions, uh, will need to transform technology. And this is a partially correct. Uh, we do need to start with the introduction of the technology to such a nonprofit, uh, adopt a relevant digital uh, solution, and uh, start with the introduction of the technology to such a nonprofit. Uh, but uh, then we need to think about uh, the processes uh, we need to undergo and how to transform organizational culture and attitude over the technology. So in this case, we are talking of transforming the processes and uh, transforming the people. It would be delicate and the balanced process of uh, integrating digital tools into uh, operations to increase uh, efficiency, while at the same time uh, moving over the culture and the behavior uh, over the technology. Or in other words, uh, uh, it it is about uh, starting with uh, technology and uh, continuing with uh, the processes uh, and people. Digital transformation framework uh, developed by TechSoup, uh, you can actually see it uh, on your screens, uh, describe uh, three layers that are uh, targeted uh, by uh, digital transformation. It's a mission layer, uh, impact uh, strategy, and uh, functional capacity layer. Digital uh, transformation starts with organizational mission. In the case of nonprofits, uh, the mission uh, is a statement uh, which defines nonprofits' purpose, I would say. A clear definition of uh, what groups uh, the nonprofit serves, uh, who the beneficiaries are, and how the organization plans to benefit uh, them. It is a clear map of what and how the organization plans to do. The process of digital transformation must start with the mission of the organization to clarify the question, what your mission is, uh, what do you want to achieve? This question needs to be clear to everyone involved in, uh, in this process. The next level is answering uh, the questions, do you have a strategy to achieve the mission in the next uh, five to 10 years? Does the leadership of the organization think about it? Uh, how do you deliver your mission? Uh, which processes are in place? Uh, which tools, uh, services and solutions uh, does uh, the organization use in order uh, to reach the mission? Th this is the impact strategy. It is important that the uh, organization uh, senior management cons consider these uh, questions and uh, has a clear vision and a concrete plan on uh, how to achieve the mission. When we talk uh, about digital transformation, we look at the impact strategy and how it uh, can be enhanced uh, with digital solution. This, this is about uh, identifying current uh, technological solutions, uh, assessing uh, functionality of them, uh, how appropriate it is for achievement of the organizational uh, mission. And then as a next step, uh, the organization needs to identify appropriate digital solutions that uh, can upgrade organizational capacities and effectiveness uh, for achievement of the mission. This is, this is connected uh, to uh, the third level of uh, digital transformation framework, uh, functional capacity. Uh, TechSoup uh, Digital Transformation Framework defines six uh, categories of uh, functional capacity. Six categories have been uh, defined after uh, extensive communication with uh, nonprofits in the process of uh, development of uh, the framework. These six uh, cate categories include nearly uh, 50 issues uh, identified by nonprofits uh, uh, and uh, frame 
all of them. And uh, as you can see, these six uh, categories are uh, productivity, productivity, which are uh, referring to collaboration, uh, communication, emails uh, within the organization, etc. cetera. Uh, security, uh, communication and uh, marketing, for, for example, uh, social media outreach, uh, operations, uh, which would be uh, automating uh, office uh, financial so software, for example, uh, HR, human resources, uh, payroll, uh, volunteer management, uh, accounting, uh, uh, data and impact uh, measuring uh, innovation. Let's uh, look at uh, this from a bit uh, different angle. How technology is uh, supporting mission of uh, nonprofits, or uh, how organizations are perceiving uh, usefulness of uh, digital technologies? We we have uh, four different uh, categories of uh, organization, as you can see on this uh, slide. Uh, we have uh, dreamers, uh, explorers, uh, skeptics, and uh, waiters. So. What is characteristic of each of these uh, categories? Uh, dreamers uh, are the organizations uh, fascinated by successful stories uh, that uh, they would like to replicate. However, most of the of its uh, genuine attempts uh, collide uh, with the general lack of skills. That's why dreamers, yeah. Uh, explorers uh, are the organizations uh, who seek for new ways of uh, engaging stakeholders through technology in order to better reach uh, its own mission, for example, uh, uh, using virtu virtual uh, reality to engage uh, youth into their uh, activities. Skeptics uh, would be the organization uh, that are aware that uh, is not leveraging uh, digital as much as it could, but it does not uh, feel uh, any need for that uh, either. Uh, the organization just uh, keep going as it uh, has always done. And uh, in the end, uh, waiters, uh, the organization, uh, access digital skills that are used mainly in daily operation, but still not enough uh, to disrupt the way in which uh, value is created and uh, distributed uh, by stakeholder. Uh, what uh, this uh, actually shows, this, this slide shows us is uh, the correlation of uh, perceived uh, usefulness of uh, digital uh, directly, uh, digital uh, to, to, to uh, level of uh, available uh, digital skills. Uh, so perceived usefulness of uh, digital uh, is directly correlated uh, to a uh, level of available uh, digital skills. Skeptics uh, and waiters uh, usually will have a lower level of uh, available uh, digital, uh, digital skills. Uh, let me give you a quick poll uh, to see uh, what is your opinion? Uh, where is your uh, organization uh, today when it comes to integration of uh, digital, uh, digital, digital technologies? So on your screen, you should be seeing a, a poll asking you how would you describe your organization when it comes uh, to digital uh, transformation? Uh, possible answers, fully transformed, uh, leading and innovative, uh, still use paper and PC as a typewriter, uh, integrated uh, some basic uh, solutions, but without strategic plan how to proceed, and uh, the fourth one halfway there. I will give you a few moments uh, to answer the poll. So by the answer so far, uh, I can see that uh, we have uh, various uh, type of uh, organizations, uh, 23 out of uh, 43 participants uh, voted. Uh, okay, 24, uh, let me... Uh, and uh, this poll and uh, share results uh, with uh, all of you. Uh, so we can see that uh, the most of you said that uh, you have integrated some basic solutions, but without a strategic plan 
on how to proceed. Uh, the second uh, uh, highest uh, number is uh, fully transformed, leading and uh, innovative. Uh, I'm glad uh, to uh, hear that. Uh, we have uh, four uh, or seventeen percent who are uh, of people who are halfway there, and four uh, percent or one respondent who uh, said uh, still use paper and PC as a type uh, typewriter. Uh, so it is time to talk about the uh, digital maturity of uh, organization. A digitally mature organization is a organization transformed, involved, or uh, more accurately, uh, constantly evolving uh, together with uh, technology. We have actually seen uh, uh, that uh, we have a couple of answers uh, uh, among you that uh, describe themselves as, as such. It is the organization that leverages uh, digital technology to uh, increase uh, efficiency, improve or uh, boost processes, and integrate technologies into uh, organizational culture and uh, strategy. It is an organization that is uh, future ready and uh, innovative in the use of uh, technologies. Uh, the digital maturity model developed by TechSoup, uh, which you uh, actually see on your uh, screens right now, is the tool that uh, leads us or help us uh, through the process uh, to identify the digital maturity of, uh, of uh, uh, organization. The digital maturity model help, helps us identify the status of a uh, nonprofit. Uh, the, the model itself defines uh, three main stages: uh, educate, uh, adopt, and uh, manage, as seen in the in the in the, in the graphic. In the example of uh, cloud use, uh, and uh, yes, this could be uh, the, the open source uh, cloud, but it can be also uh, the. Uh, the, the commercial cloud, it, it, it really depends uh, what uh, would be need of, uh, of your uh, organization. So uh, in the example of cloud use, we can uh, see that nonprofits uh, you know, identified as being in the uh, educate stage are the organizations that are not using the cloud and uh, or have no sufficient information on uh, what the cloud is. Uh, how can it be used? Uh, what uh, benefits it will bring uh, to the organization, uh, etc. So, uh, the organizations that uh, still need to be educated about uh, all the benefits of the of the cloud. Nonprofits that are in the uh, adopt stage uh, either have uh, some knowledge about uh, the existence of uh, and the benefits uh, of of uh, certain cloud solutions, but have difficulties in uh, taking the right steps uh, to uh, to implement it. Uh, or use some cloud solutions, but uh, need uh, need additional help in uh, utilizing uh, uh, these solutions uh, strategically. Organizations in the managed stage are uh, nonprofits that uh, already use and uh, implement cloud solutions. However, they will need assistance uh, in uh, managing uh, these solutions or uh, support uh, in uh, future planning and. Uh, innovation. Why is it uh, important to recognize the digital matur maturity of uh, the organization? Uh, based on the digital maturity of a uh, non-profit, uh, the approach and plans, uh, sorry, the approach and plans for digital transformation will be designed uh, by uh, defining specific steps uh, the organization uh, needs to undertake in order to to transform uh, digit, uh, the, the digital maturity of, uh, organ of uh, organizations actually tell us where this organization is and what are the what are the need uh, needs with a good assessment of the needs uh, a tailored approach uh, for any specific uh, nonprofit uh, can be developed uh, let's let's try uh, another another poll so uh, as already stated uh, we, we have a poll on uh, what is the responsibility of leaders in a digital uh, transformation uh, process so uh, let's see what is uh, your uh, idea or uh, what is your uh, opinion on uh, responsibility of leaders in digital transformation uh, 
again, we're going to have a few moments to give you time uh, to uh, respond uh, to the to the poll. Questions are leader has to do everything. Uh, leader only starts uh, this process. Uh, leader only monitors the process, and uh, leader shouldn't be involved in this uh, in these processes. Uh, someone else in organization should uh, take care of uh, this. So few more moments uh, and uh, let's actually take a look uh, at, uh, at the results. Uh, so what we see here is that uh, 36 of, uh, percent of you thinks that the leader only starts the process. Uh, same percentage thinks the leader only monitors the process. Uh, then 16% uh, uh, believes that leader has to do everything uh, and 12% uh, uh, believes that leader shouldn't be involved in the, in the process uh, at all. Someone else uh, should take care of it. Uh, being aware of uh, the time, I'm going to uh, speed up a little bit. Uh, so, uh, as already stated, uh, according to NetHope report from 2018, in more than 74% uh, of uh, organizations, uh, uh, there is no person in the senior management who is responsible for and the digital transformation of the uh, organization. This is not uh, comforting uh, data. Digital transformation is a process that focuses on people, culture, and processes, targeting all levels of organizations, uh, organization impact, uh, organizational mission, impact uh, strategy, etc. Every member of a nonprofit uh, has a role in digital transformation, but role and responsibility of leader is uh, extremely uh, important. First of all, leader is the one who should uh, have understanding and knowledge on why the digital transformation is important to one uh, organization and how it will impact and uh, enhance uh, achieving organizational goals and missions. He or she should be uh, the leading force and one with a uh, wider picture and uh, vision how digital transformation will improve uh, this organization. Leader should be uh, aware, uh, uh, leader should build awareness uh, through the organization on the benefits and impact of digital transformation. Uh, they need to understand and uh, pace uh, scaling up of uh, digital transformation uh, through organization. Digital transformation often uh, uh, mean different things uh, for different uh, people in the organization. Everyone will look at it uh, from own angle and create own opinion on uh, what is it. Leaders should ensure that all people in the organization have same understanding of the process and the goals. In the, in the end, leaders have the right uh, to make decisions uh, which will either push uh, or block uh, transformation uh, of, of the uh, organization. Uh, organization led by uh, leaders who understand technology have uh, dis dis distinct uh, advantages. Technology uh, improves leaders' abilities to make uh, data-driven decisions and uh, strategies, uh, allows uh, budget-constrained uh, nonprofits to do more with less uh, by increasing efficiency, and helps organization expand their reach uh, and impact uh, and better connect with uh, tech-savvy uh, constitutes. A leader who understands uh, what uh, their tools can do and how to leverage them is a leader who can move an uh, organization forward in the era of uh, rapid, uh, rapid change. Nonprofit leader with uh, developed digital skills will ask the right question to evaluate uh, candidate uh, experience, knowledge, and uh, abilities in process of uh, finding the right people for the senior level technology positions. We will be able to identify uh, will be able to identify the candidate able to lead organization's uh, technology initiative in, initiatives in strategic manner, rather than just uh, managing uh, existing technology. Importance of uh, data-informed decision-making is uh, irrefutable. A uh, manager that understands the process of data collection and the integration of collected data together with vision on uh, what the data use is in, in, in uh, making decisions will be able to prioritize initiatives and manage activities in a be best manner. 
understanding the technologies will uh, enable manager in uh, prioritizing risk uh, issues, especially ones related to security, privacy, uh, continuity of uh, operations, uh, keeping the records, and uh, etc. Person with uh, developed digital skills will understand the importance of technology and relate to it as a core in achievement of organizational mission rather than uh, seeing it uh, just as a tool. They will understand how technology can be used to advance relationship with the beneficiaries and donors. Digital knowledge uh, can help manager to position self as an innovator and leader, uh, fundamentally changing the way uh, programs are delivered making them uh, more cost effective, easier to manage, uh, better uh, at meeting the needs of communities they serve. With the rapid involvement of uh, digital technologies, uh, leader of nonprofits must constantly work on uh, their own knowledge uh, about technologies. In slide uh, here, you can uh, see uh, some of the digital skills leaders should have. Uh, these are aligned with uh, the European Digital Competence uh, Framework for uh, Citizens, uh, developed by Joint Research Center of the European Commission, who recognize the need of having a, a common, common uh, reference uh, framework of what it means to be digitally savvy in an increasingly globalized and digital world in the fields of uh, education, uh, training, and uh, employment. So, digital transformation as a change. Tran transformation is a change. Uh, Digital transformation of NGO is a change of the core of the NGOs. Uh, we have talked about uh, different uh, processes that are happening within the organization through the digital transformation. Any, any change is difficult. People, uh, by the nature, uh, are prone to rejecting the change. And you cannot expect anything different in the case of uh, digital transformation. Digital transformation is not a simple process. Uh, organizations that are undergoing the digital transformation often uh, face failure. According to Forbes, 84% uh, of companies uh, fail to achieve digital uh, transformation. Such transformation is not simple and a trivial process. Uh, it requires changing, changing uh, both uh, infrastructure and uh, culture uh, within uh, within organization. Uh, let's, let's take a look at the reasons uh, for failure of uh, digital transformation. We have usual suspects uh, here, uh, lack of senior, senior management support, lack of uh, uh, consensus on uh, what digital transformation is, uh, wait and see uh, trap, uh, what and how, uh, failure to align uh, tech and talent needs resistant to change. The, this list uh, could be much longer. Uh, there are examples of uh, similar lists with uh, 12 of, or uh, more reasons uh, for uh, failure identified. However, this can be identified as uh, most relevant for the nonprofit sector. So just a little bit about uh, each, of, uh, each of these. Uh, lack of senior, senior management support. Lack of clear transformation strategy was uh, seated by 35% uh, uh, of executives uh, as a key barrier uh, to achieving its full uh, digital potential, potential according to uh, Wipro Digital. And it is clear that uh, in, in, in introduction of uh, any change or any new strategy starts with the senior management. Without such a support, any process, including the process of uh, digital transformation, is in imminent jeopardy of uh, failure. Mostly, this uh, lack of management support is because of uh, fear and uh, lack of understanding what technology is uh, and uh, process of uh, digital uh, transformation, as well as how to obtain uh, necessary support before, uh, during, and after the, after the process. Lack of uh, consensus, consensus on uh, what digital uh, transformation uh, means. Uh, uh, digital transformation as a concept has been presented, has been present uh, for some time now, but it is uh, not widely promoted or uh, understood even less uh, in the NGO sector, I would say. There is a great hype about it uh, and you can hear everyone uh, referring to it. However, uh, clarity on uh, what digital transformation is uh, still missing. Uh, 
as seen uh, often it's confused with the process of, process of uh, digitalization for example if senior management in one nonprofit doesn't have the the same understanding of what digital transformation uh, is as uh, someone from uh, middle management obviously there there could be a, a problem the same example is uh, applicable to any level of uh, organization it would uh, lead us to a situation where everyone uh, pulls the rope in 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 his own uh, direction leading leading to uh, to failure only because of uh, time i'm going to skip uh, to uh, the last one uh, resistance uh, to 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 change uh, but in the materials uh, that we are sharing you will have an opportunity to read about uh, these other traps uh, as well so Change, change is always a challenging uh, process, uh, especially when it comes uh, to the change that uh, should reshape uh, the organizational culture. So sometimes it is very difficult uh, for people to accept uh, the change and uh, let it go. 45% uh, of uh, 4,500 uh, CIOs uh, surveyed for the uh, Harvey Nash uh, CIO uh, survey in 2017 uh, quoted resistance uh, to change as a top uh, impediment to a successful digital strategy. Such a resistance uh, to change can easily end uh, any attempt of uh, transformation. As I said, there could be a much longer list of uh, reasons uh, for failure of uh, digital uh, transformation. It can uh, depend on the context of uh, the location where organization is uh, situated, the uh, size of the uh, organization, scope of work, etc. However, these are some of uh, the most common. Uh, but uh, to conclude on a positive uh, note, every failure have, uh, can have a remedy and uh, there is a guidance available out there uh, to navigate uh, through, through these uh, risks. For example, let's talk uh, just uh, about one of the traps mentioned, uh, the last one, uh, the change. As, uh, as described, uh, resistance to change is recognized as one of the greatest uh, reasons for uh, failure of digital uh, transformation. So uh, let's uh, explore this ob obstacle a little bit uh, deeper and discuss uh, approach uh, to solution uh, motivating stuff. So each process of uh, implementing change uh, has its own dynamic, uh, which include uh, denial of resistance, uh, exploration, and uh, adoption, as, uh, as, as seen on the, on the slide uh, uh, in front of you. Uh, Tendaji Wiki uh, is an author uh, whose book, uh, The Corporate Startup, was uh, awarded uh, with the 2018 Management Book of the Year Award for the Innovation and the Entrepreneurship uh, by the Chartered Management Institute. He recognized three main barriers uh, to digital transformation, uh, inertia, doubt, and uh, cynicism. In plain words, uh, it is a uh, fear of change, uh, questioning uh, the applicability of uh, change to uh, their environment and uh, using any failure or uh, change of plan as a talking point uh, to illustrate how they always knew that uh, their company's uh, leadership was incompetent. So how to motivate uh, staff to be engaged in uh, digital transformation? Uh, the first important element uh, would uh, certainly be uh, communication. It is absolutely crucial to provide timely and relevant information about processes uh, that uh, are ahead of us. It, it, is, it is important to uh, maintain constant communication as often as possible instead of, of providing uh, one large bulk of uh, information at the beginning of the process and uh, expect that you have covered it. Uh, you need to set up a two-way communication channel and uh, nurture cult culture of uh, feedback. Frontline staff will be able to provide uh, important insights in uh, how the process is uh, advancing and uh, what might be the required change. Information that uh, should be shared should include details on, uh, on, on big picture. How does this uh, process contribute to achievement of the organizational mission and uh, goals? Which digital solutions and uh, products, products will be uh, implemented and why? It, it is uh, extremely important uh, to communicate uh, how it will affect each individual uh, employee. Th this uh, actually means that uh, you might have to tailor the communication uh, to different uh, staff, uh, staff groups. Uh, 
communication uh, should provide answers uh, to questions like, uh, will this technology make my job uh, redundant? Uh, what uh, are the benefits of uh, this technology? What does this mean for uh, me and my role? Uh, how are things going to change? Uh, what about required skills uh, for work with this uh, technology, etc.? Most of these que questions relate uh, to employees of the nonprofits uh, that are in educate or uh, adopt stages of uh, digital uh, maturity, but it actually uh, 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 relates uh, to uh, every process of uh, digital transformation. Another, another important uh, step uh, for motivating uh, staff would be uh, participation. Uh, participation uh, will lead uh, to the development of the ownership of the process of uh, digital uh, transformation. It is, it is important to uh, design the process uh, which will offer uh, opportunity for employees to contribute and to feel like an uh, important element in the transformation. Feedback session will contribute it, uh, to it. A uh, useful step is setting up the clear goals that uh, uh, clear goals on what is uh, expected of an uh, employee. Uh, Good, uh, good uh, element would be uh, uh, also to, uh, um, which would influence uh, motivation of uh, employees uh, is related to skills and uh, competences. Uh, according to World Economic Forum, 54% uh, of uh, today's workforce will need uh, significant res uh, reskilling by uh, 2022. Uh, this is an opportunity for a nonprofit uh, to show uh, genuine care for their uh, employees and uh, offer. Uh, well, there are numerous opportunities for upskilling of the work workforce. Many of them based on the free uh, access, and uh, nonprofit uh, should adopt a culture of uh, upskilling uh, the employees. Uh, Helpful uh, strategy would uh, be using statistical data, uh, which show the benefits of digital transformation for uh, organization. Just as an example, we can uh, use that on an increased number of uh, beneficiaries. Uh, Thailand's uh, Social Innovation Foundation helps people with uh, disabilities to find jobs. But for years, uh, it struggled to meet their targets as its uh, staff grappled with the challenges of uh, collating thousands uh, of paper documents and uh, ensuring piles of forms were filled out accurately. Now they have uh, moved ahead with digital transformation using Dynamics uh, 365. Uh, they aim to scale uh, from completing a few hundred cases annually to more than 10,000 in the future. Finance is... Uh, uh, finance is, uh, uh, is also a good example. Uh, for example, uh, uh, Warsaw Rising Museum implemented change in uh, CR, CRM uh, and actually saved uh, 79,700 US dollars in implementing these uh, solutions. Uh, in conclusion, once again, it is uh, important to point out uh, the key role of communication in uh, this process, uh, since good and timely com communication will uh, eliminate uh, fears and false uh, perceptions that could uh, accompany a uh, digital uh, transformation. I am very, uh, aware, very much aware of the, of the time and uh, we are uh, uh, well, getting to the, to the uh, end. Uh, we, we have developed a simple tool, uh, action plan to a digital uh, transformation. This tool is uh, used uh, during the face-to-face -face training on uh, digital transformation. However, due to time uh, limitation, we will not be able to uh, work on it uh, today. However, we will be sharing this tool uh, with you after the webinar. Uh, here's just a glimpse on uh, how does it look like. Uh, it's, a, it's a simple step-by-step -step tool uh, that will help you in the development of the action plan uh, toward digital uh, transformation. Please feel free to contact us uh, afterward if you have any additional uh, questions related uh, to use of this tool. So, to summarize and uh, give you opportunity some uh, some more uh, questions, uh, 
With this, uh, we have reached uh, the end of the webinar. webinar. Uh, this was uh, just, I would say, a quick overview of digital transformation for no nonprofits. Just a glimpse, uh, I would say, of uh, everything related to digital transformation. Uh, we have uh, covered a number of uh, uh, items, how digital technologies change nonprofit uh, digital transformation and some elements of it, uh, leaders' role in uh, digital transformation, uh, digital transformation as a change in the uh, organizations. I do hope that you have found something useful for yourself in these 60 minutes and uh, I hope it's cre it uh, created wish to explore digital transformation a bit further and think uh, how it could be uh, applied in your organization. We will be sending you a follow-up email with webinar uh, recording, training materials, uh, uh, action plan tool and short evaluation form uh, for this, uh, for this uh, webinar. Uh, I am aware that uh, now you have uh, even more questions uh, than at the beginning, uh, that you want to have uh, concrete recommendations on which dig digital solution to implement in your organization. Unfortunately, there is no simple answer to such a question. Uh, digital maturity of the organization, uh, size, uh, scope of the work, etc., defines organizational need uh, and the further uh, direction of uh, transformation. Easy, easiest uh, would be to say Office 365 is something uh, all of you need to have. Uh, unfortunately, that uh, doesn't function uh, that way. Although I would recommend Office uh, 360, 361, nine. 365. Uh, good news is that uh, there are organizations, one of them uh, being TechSoup, that uh, can help you in uh, this uh, journey. Uh, each of your countries or regions is covered by TechSoup network uh, of uh, partners that can help you with uh, software, hardware, tools, and solu solutions, uh, training, uh, grant, and donation uh, possibilities. Address uh, on the screen is just example of TechSoup in Poland. Please look for your TechSoup partner in your country. Uh, they can help you in this uh, demanding journey. Uh, before we say uh, thank you and goodbye, uh, please share with us any final question or uh, comment uh, you might have. And thank you for uh, participating in this uh, webinar. So I don't see any uh, questions uh, and uh, I can see uh, the people are uh, slowly uh, signing out. Uh, so once again, on behalf of uh, TechSoup Europe, uh, uh, myself and uh, my colleague uh, Lisa Nema, I wish to uh, thank you uh, for the participation uh, in this webinar, for uh, listening to us uh, for a bit over uh, 60 uh, minutes. Uh, and uh, I wish you a good day and uh, all the luck, all the luck uh, with the future uh, digital transformation of your, of your organizations. As I said, uh, feel free to contact uh, TechSoup uh, and TechSoup uh, network of uh, partners in your uh, region and uh, in your countries. Thank you very much uh, and uh, goodbye.